coming back at you. Remember, I told you I was going to bring that special request. Today, we're doing that special request. Those pigtails. Those pigtails. Showtime's pigtails. So today, we're doing pigtails and pig feet. I'm going to show you today how Showtime do his pigtails and pig feet. Country style. So, today, what we're going to take and do is the three, four seasons I'm going to use today is some garlic powder. I'm going to use a little seasoned meat tenderizer. And I'm going to use some of Showtime season. Everybody remember Showtime season? And I'm going to use some apple cider vinegar. So, that is the ingredients that I'm going to use today. So, let's get this show on the road and get these pig feet and pig tails done in the oven and let's get them seasoned because it's going down in Showtime's kitchen today. Ain't nothing like some good old pig tails and pig feet if you know what I mean. If you're from down south, boy, that is some good eating. So, let's get started. So, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to get my pan. Um, we're going to start off. I'm going to put them in a long pan, long aluminum pan here. I'm going to open my packs up. Um, I'm going to put them in here. And I'm going to take... And when you're doing pigtails, that's really much nothing that you do to pigtails. Is that you take them out the pack, put them in a pan, and you rinse them off. So, some people may cook their... Um, pigtails and pig feet uh, separately, but today I only have um, one pack of pig feet. We're going to cook them um, together and we're going to bake them in the oven. Uh, there are several ways that you can cook your um, pigtails and pig feet. Some folks uh, like to put them in the pot and boil them. Some folks like to smoke them. Some folks like to put them in a the pressure cooker. Some folks like to cook them in greens. Some folks like to cook them several ways, but today we're going to bake these bad boys at 350 degrees with those special ingredients. So, uh, as I continue to put them, and I have the pig feet that have been split in half already. Now, you can buy the pig feet as a whole, but I like to get mine that's split in half. So, mine is already split in half. Um, basically, when they split it in half, so um, it makes it more easy to get to, as I say. So, I'm going to take these over to the zinc and give them a quick bath. And uh, while I'm washing them, uh, rinsing them off, give them a quick bath. Um, a lot of people down south uh, take the uh, pigtails uh, and put them in the seasoned the greens with uh, sometimes you can buy salted pigtails. Sometimes you can buy salty uh, pig feet. Um, those are the pig feet or pigtails that you take to season your greens with, or season whatever that you may uh, season um, things things with. And if you can remember back in the day when you used to go in the store, you used to get those pickle pig feet. If you can remember those pickle pig feet. They usually be the very best, and they still sell them in stores, those pickle pig feet. And man, if I had one of those pickle pig feet right now, they would be the bomb. Those, they used to sell them in those big jars, so they are the best. Those pickle pig feet, and remember, they come from these right here, those pickle pig feet. So down south, that's, that's what we used to have, those good eatings. So on a good old Sunday dinner, or those pigtails, and these are some good meaty pigtails that we have here. So, as I get them all aligned in this thing here, like I said, there's really not much you do to when you do these pigtails. So, first of all, what we're going to take and do is that we're going to start off with the seasoned meat tenderizer. We're just going to go lightly and coat them. Put it all over and just coat them. And season them all up just a little lightly. And then we're going to come back with the garlic powder and do the same. Season them all, just, just lightly coated. And you know, you may season 
um, with whatever your season. You may just like uh, uh, onion powder, or you may just want salt and pepper, or you may just want uh, seasoned salt, or you may want Old Bay, or whatever your season that you like to put on your pig tails or your pig feet. That's what you put on your pig feet. You may not want vinegar. You may want to put a little water in there. But I cook my pig feet with vinegar because I love the uh, vinegary base. And also what I'm going to take and do with my pig feet is that uh, also I have a little extra um, barbecue sauce. Um, that A uh, sauce that I have left over that I take and put on the hog that I cook for Mother's Day. That when they get halfway done... I'm going to take and gauge that uh, uh, pig tails and pig feet with that barbecue sauce and give it that extra look flavor, that extra look kick. So now I'm taking the showtime season and I'm just glazing it right on over them. So in the showtime season, I'm just glazing it right on over it. My showtime seasoning, you know, you can get that also. I sell that in different sizes. So if you like some of that, just comment, just comment in the box, like, share, uh, hit me up on Facebook that say, hey, I want some of that Showtime season. I want a quarter of that Showtime season. I want a pan of that Showtime season. And I can get you some of that good old Showtime season. You know, that Showtime season can go good on any type of meat. Um, it, it, it comes with different sort of spices that I blend together that you can take and put on your meats. But now that we have these pigtails all seasoned up, and I'm going to bend the pan down so you can see. So as you can see, that those pigtails and pig figs are all seasoned up with those mixes and everything. So now what we're going to take and do is pour the vinegar over top of those. Now... Sometimes, what I like to do sometimes, if I'm in a uh, different mood, I would take and chop some uh, onions up and um, put it here. But today, we're just going to do it my basic old country style way. So now, I'm going to take and pour my vinegar in here. Um, and you can pour as much of vinegar as you want. I pour enough vinegar in here to coat my bottom. And so that's enough vinegar in here to coat my bottom. That I can see because a lot of time when you start to cook it, a lot of the juices uh, from the pigtails is going to begin to sweat. And so what I'm going to do is exactly is go back again and just add just a little bit of a little bit more of that Showtime season in. So now I got it all coated and seasoned. So now I'm going to let them cook. And what I'm going to take to do now is that the first part of the cook, I got the oven already preheated to 350 degrees. Now, we're going to let these pigtails cook at 350 degrees. I like to slow cook them for about three and a half hours until I see them start to fall off the bone just a little bit. So, I slow cook them. And that first part of the cook, I cook them covered for about two hours. And then I start to unfold them and I take the four off at about the two and a half hour mark. And then I let the crispy, I start to let them crispy a little bit. So I'm going to get some foil and, and cover them up. And after that two and a half hour mark, I'll come back and show you before I put that barbecue, that Showtime's barbecue sauce up there. Also, that Showtime's barbecue sauce. My homemade Showtime barbecue sauce uh, that I put on my hog, uh, that's also uh, for sale also. So hit me up for that Showtime barbecue sauce. That Showtime barbecue sauce is good for any uh, of your meat. Uh, those of you that was here for the Mother's Day, uh, that, that Mother's Day cookout, you tasted that sauce. It, it, it was off the change. Um, you know that sauce is good. So that sauce can go on chicken, ribs. Eggs or whatever you want to put it on. So now that we have these uh, pig feet and pigtails all nice and covered up, so now they are ready for the oven. So now what we're going to take and do is we're going to put these bad boys in the oven. The oven is already preheated at 350 degrees. So hang tightly with me so we'll see you right back here at the same location. So as I stick these in the oven, um, and we'll see you right back here at the two and a half hour mark when we come back to 
uncover them, and I show you how I dress them up and put the Showtime barbecue sauce on them. So, stick right here with me as we come back at the two and a half hour mark. Cooking with Showtime, as always. Stick right here with me. Alright, welcome back to Showtime's Cooking. Here's that two hour mark that we've been waiting for. If you take a look at those pigtails and pig feet, how they have started to be peeling back there, that is what we have been looking for. I have took the lemon four off. Now I'm going to take and add some of Showtime's barbecue season sauce on it, and I'm going to continue to let them cook until they get that crispy brown look that I'm looking for. I'm going to let them cook for about another hour and 45 minutes to two hours so they get that crispy brown look that I'm looking for. They have been cooking there for two and a half hours. Uh, as you can see, they have seen it starting to fall. Look at that. See? Oh, just look at that. They are almost falling off the bone, smelling good. So let me grab the barbecue sauce and dash some of that up there just hang ho tight all right i have the showtime's barbecue sauce right here in my jug i have the showtime's barbecue sauce i'm just gonna sprinkle some right over them as you can see i'm sprinkling it right over them oh look at there as you see, I have sprinkled that Showtime's barbecue sauce over them. And what I'm going to take and do is, it's a vinegary base. I'm going to take and slide them back in the oven. And like I said, we're going to let them cook for another hour and 45 minutes to a two hour mark until they got that golden crisp flavor, uh, crisp flavor that we're looking for them. That brown golden look that we're looking for on. So, once again, we're at that two and a half hour mark. We're still at 350 degrees. We have uncovered them. Um, so we'll be right back at with you at a two and a half, one forty hour, forty five minutes to so two and a half hour mark, um, where they get that golden crisp look. So keep watching for Showtime, pigtails and pig feet. All right, we're back cooking with Showtime. And it has been that hour and 40 minute mark. And they're at the color that we are wanted them to be. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take them out of the oven. We're gonna let them sit for about 20 minutes before we dig into them. While I prepare my other dish that is gonna go with them, which is potato salad. Anytime I have pigtails, and pig feet, I always prepare for some potato salad. So, as I let them sit, I'm gonna prepare for my potato salad. So hang tightly with me. I'm um, gonna let our pig test sit and cool off as I prepare everything else. We're gonna plate this meal up and you are gonna see me dig into these pig tails and pig feet. So that is the color that we've been looking for. That pretty mahogany color there. Would you take a look at those pig feet and pig tails there? That pretty mahogany color there. Those are some pretty pig tails and pig feet. They are smelling good. If you could smell those pig tails and pig feet. That is what we was looking for there on those pig tails and pig feet. Just take a look at them there. So... Hang tightly with me. We'll be right back with you. All right. Welcome back. Cooking with Showtimes. I have got everything all done, cooked, and plated all up. Let me show you the plate I have here. If you can look at that, I have that pigtail. I have my pig feet. I have a piece of cornbread, piece of some tater salad, and collard greens there. I have this meal all plated up here. I'm going to get me a fork here, and we're going to try this meal out here. 
So first, we're gonna start with some of Showtime's homemade tater salad here, which is always my famous. Mmm, just phenomenal. The collard greens that I grew up out of my garden, that I cook frozen. Mmm, just phenomenal. Showtime's, my mom's famous slamming cornbread. Homemade cornbread to just melt right in your mouth. Mmm. Now, let's try some of this pig tail. Mmm. Look at that. It just, oh my. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my goodness, y'all. Oh, if you could be right here with me to share this plate with me. Oh my goodness. Let's get some of this pig feet right here. I'm gonna just get a little corner off. Oh. Mmm. Oh my goodness, y'all. This right here, this is a phenomenal meal. Quick and easy. This is him. This is good. I got my pig feet, pig tail, potato salad, collard greens, cornbread. Best is both worlds here. And got me a coke on the side. So listen here, guys. I've been in the kitchen all day preparing this country style meal here. It's time for Showtime to sit down and relax and feed his face this evening. So listen here. Hold your seats tight. Showtime is always cooking up something. Like, share, subscribe. Listen here. Put in those comments the next meal that you want to see Showtime's cooks. Whether it's fish, chicken, ribs, pig feet, pork chops. Whatever you want Showtime to cook, put in those comments right down there the next meal that you want Showtime to cook. And it will be done. Showtime is always coming out with some new ideas and new meals. It's always coming up. I had so many people that told me, hey Showtime, we love that smoked fried spotscock turkey that you've done. And I'm going to tell you something. It was phenomenal. And this meal right here is just one of many that you're going to see coming up. Now, the next time that you see Showtime, we're going to be working on that black stone flat top. We're going to be doing something special on that black stone flat top. So be on the lookout. There's many more meals that Showtime got coming up. So, always, as I say always, as always, cooking with Showtime.